My name is Bill Mook. I've been in business growing oysters since 1985, so that's a little over 30 years. Back in the, uh, the latter part of the last decade, we started having severe problems growing our larvae in the hatchery. <clears throat> and after uh, pulling our hair out for probably a year, year and a half, uh, we were tipped off by oyster growers from the West Coast who had had similar problems and actually figured out what was going on. Their problem had been um, high levels of carbon dioxide in the water uh, that had reduced the level of car calcium carbonate available to the larvae in the water and, um, and this was causing them to have severe crashes in their larval populations. And then over the next uh, year or two we developed our own techniques for um, basically adapting to the problem, controlling our water quality better. The University of New Hampshire came up, installed a monitoring system that has allowed us to track the uh, changes in seawater chemistry that's coming into our hatchery. Hatcheries are really the canaries in, in the coal mine. What we view our job as right now is sounding the alarm and getting more people concerned uh, about the problem. It basically is no different than putting street lights up in a, in a dark part of the city so that we, the oyster growers and the shellfish farmers and the wild harvesters can see what dangers are lurking in the, in the alleyways.